Hey guys, Saturday morning. Me and Gary's out digging. I got a, like a 90, 80, 88, 90, 91 here in this here cup, which is deep and says, so uh, the side we tape it. The wind's blowing really bad, so bear with me. I'll try to try to uh, do the best I can do. Right there it is, but quarter. Hey, yeah. You just never know though guys. We'll take it and we'll get back to you we find something else. Hey guys, back at you here. Uh, guys, you won't believe this. Look at the size of this large scent. Now I ain't got a date on it yet, but uh, when I get it home and wash it up, I'll uh, post it and let you know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't have no clue what it is yet, but that's got to be the biggest thing I ever dug. It just looked intriguing, so I dug it up. So, anybody knows, let me know. I'll take it home, wash it up anyway. Hey, right, guys. Hey, guys. Gary got silver, I think. Where's it at? Right down there it is. I think it is. Go ahead. Pour out here and see what it is. Be a shame if it isn't, huh? 1962, Rosie. Well. Stuck. Hold on. Stuck <laughs> to a penny. Stuck to a clad penny. That's why I got the daggone reading I got. Oh. It's man. literally stuck to that penny. I've seen them before. I mean, it's glued to that penny, I think. That's I a, can't get it loose. Yeah, I've seen them before. Someone else I've seen. Uh, well, here's the damn penny. I can't tell. 64, I think. I literally, I think they, whoever yeah. that... I think they glued it to the penny. Yeah, it's, a, I've seen someone else. Perry got one of them, I thought, he said. I'm telling yeah. I'm not going to mess with it, but it's not coming off the penny. What's that all about, guys? Why do they do that? Huh? 62. And that thing's glued to a penny. I think that's I've why seen I got them. the reading I got, too. I've seen them before like that. What year's the penny? I can't read it. It looks like 64. I'll clean it up when I get home and look. But I can't see it either. What a strange day for finds. <laughs> your, really? Your large, large scent. Yeah. <laughs> and Gary dug up two, uh, two guns right here in this area, right beside each other almost. <laughs> we don't know if one of them's a lighter maybe or something. I don't know. Yep, okay, Gary, that's a good one. That's a goodie. Congratulations. All right. He always gets the first one. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we'll get back to you. We find something else. Hey, guys, hunt's over for the day. It was a, a real tough, tough day, man. Just uh, wasn't nothing much out there. But uh, ended up with a dollar fifty and quarters, one nickel, twenty cents and dimes, twenty-four uh, pennies, uh, and this stuff here, questionable stuff. I have no clue. Don't know what that is. That was a little nice design. I thought maybe maybe a part of a buckle. Don't know. But uh, maybe someone knows. This here is souvenir. I don't have a clue on that neither. Maybe a pen, some sort. I think there was a, looked like there might have been a pen on the back of it before. Maybe had a little ribbon hanging off of it or something. Who knows? I did get the. Uh, 
wheat penny. Uh, 57. And a uh, 1912. So, that's about the best I did today. Oh, not really. My large scent. Uh, look at the size of that thing. And I don't know what it is. But that's the biggest thing I ever dug. It was just intriguing to me. So I dug it up and... Uh, trying to pass it off as large scent, but I don't know what it is, so it's got a hole right there in the middle. Don't have a clue. So anybody maybe knows what that is. It's kind of, what do you call it, convec, con, concave or whatever you want to call it. It's like, I don't know. But uh, that's cool. Babies have a I don't know what it's made out of, but I had to bring it home. Can you imagine carrying that around in your in your pouch all day? Yeah. Anyway, guys, fines for the day, so maybe uh, we'll get out tomorrow. We're going to go to a new school if the uh, weather permits. Uh, we're supposed to get a little snow, so but we'll wait and see what happens. So uh, until then, happy hunting, guys. Thanks for subscribing, and uh, we'll see you on the next trip. Bye.